are traditional newspaper publishers really able to compete with giant Groupon? Well, Groupon, of course, for us as traditional media companies is a big challenge, no doubt about this. But in this special area of daily deals, we see that our old newspaper is still a very valuable promotional channel, which means we are selling a lot in the cities where we are present with newspapers, and that's why, yes, we can compete with Groupon. What are publishers' advantages comparing to Groupon? We know our local markets, we know the local merchants, we have the local trust and the local brand in the market, which is very important when it comes to the consumers buying the deals on the website. And last but not least, we know exactly the local advertisers that fit to the product, to a daily deal concept. This is what I would call local market knowledge. We have what Groupon is missing at the moment and what they have to acquire for a relatively high price, especially when it comes to promotion. Sweet Deal, this is the name of your product comparable to Groupon. Uh, how did you build it? How did you organize the work around this? But first of all, it is very important from an operational perspective to not act too synergetically, which means don't overburden your existing sales stuff and don't overburden your existing editorial stuff. These are key elements in the project and we thought we have everything, we have those assets in the company, let's exploit them furthermore, like we exploit them for instance in selling print and online and parallel, but honestly saying a good local sales rep selling good newspaper ads in the region is not automatically the best seller when it comes to acquiring the local deals. So that was the first challenge. And secondly, of course, when it comes to the technology, that's a totally different story because a daily deal concept is no web shop. And in the starting phase, we thought it's a web shop, but it's a marketing tool. It is driving marketing for local new merchants in the regions that have zero cent to spend in the area. And that was new for us as well. What are lessons learned after this first year? Now we understand the product and now we can sell it pretty well in the cities where we are present with newspapers. Lessons learned also is you need to also further exploit the promotional power apart from what you are originally having in the cities, which means you also need to invest into external marketing. Probably go a bit into cinemas, go a bit into radio, go a bit into Google AdWords and Facebook advertising. It is not only your own media that is fueling the growth in such a program. You need to further exploit it. Who is selling the um, sweet deal offers? Uh, did you build the, the, the special sales force for this product? It is mostly special sales force, specialized sales reps that come from the digital area, have a very digital background and also come from the newspaper industry in terms of knowing the local marketplace. We are not selling like Groupon is doing it, meaning doing outbound calls from a telesales center somewhere in the capital and then calling all across the country. We are present, physically present in the local markets with dedicated sales reps. How much money did you earn during this first year? I'm not able to tell you detailed figures on this, but just to give you some rough data, we now sold more than 800,000 deals since we launched. We are present in 80 cities all across our country markets. We are present in five countries and uh, we now made more than 15 million in gross billing all across these countries and we already earned a high six-digit EBITDA amount and we are aiming for more when it comes to 2012 because we just launched our biggest market Holland a couple of months ago. Which position in all these countries do you have comparing to Groupon and other competitors? What we can say on a national level is that we are at least number five in the country markets. But we are even better in our natural markets where we are present with newspaper titles. On a national level, we are number one, two or three in those markets. When you break it down to the local level, take cities such as Torun, where we are present with newspapers in Poland, take Drummond, for instance, in Norway, take Eindhoven in Holland, we are always the local market leader. For example, in Poland, your sweet deal is uh, number eight in terms of traffic and, and you cover only 2% of the market. Uh, are you happy with this? No, we are not happy with this, to be very honest. And I think we have much more potential. 
but especially when it comes to Poland and our setup in Poland, the challenge is that we are not present in the biggest cities in Poland. Take Warsaw, for instance, take Wroclaw, take Troy Miasto. That's a big challenge, and this is actually the learning curve we are taking at the moment. How to grow such a product in cities where we are not present with newspaper titles, where we don't have the local eyeballs to sell the deals, to promote the deals, where we have to invest into marketing. This is new to us. This is something we never did in the past because we always relied on the power we have in our own media. And in Warsaw, for instance, we don't have the power because we are not present. What is your weather forecast for Groupon-like websites? Are dark clouds are coming? I wouldn't call it dark clouds, but of course what we will see in 2012, I guess, is a market consolidation. I think we will see who the really strong players in the local and in the national markets are. Let's have a look at the global development of this trend. We just read that Facebook offers, or Facebook stopped their Facebook deals. Google offers are not happy with Google offers. Or, um, you can say that, but on the other hand, they acquired a national player in Germany who is also present in Austria and Switzerland called Daily Deal. So the strong players are still very active in this market. Living Social is still investing a lot in this business area also backed up with Amazon as a funding company and of course Groupon is also still very present in the market. What we will see there and which will differentiate the good from the bad is also the commission rate. We will see, I guess, a pressure on the commission rate in 2012. Keep in mind that Groupon is still taking 50% or more on cut on every single deal. For even more cheaper deals, they are taking more than 50% because they say it's a very exclusive marketing channel they are offering at the moment. This is something we don't believe in. This is something where we think we are much fairer to the local merchants. So we take not 50%, yeah, but uh, more in the area of 30% in commission rate on the local level. And this is something uh, where the market will develop to next year. Second element which will be killed, I guess, in the near future is the element of unredeemed vouchers. So which means people buy the deal on the website, but they never go to the local spa or to the local restaurant. This money, which was earned and which the consumers paid for on the website, is so-called the unredeemed voucher element, which Groupon is totally taking into their pockets. So they don't pay the local merchants for consumers that don't go to the restaurant or to the spa. We are much fairer in this uh, area and we, we see us as a partner also for the local merchant, which means we also let them get the money for those deals which actually were bought on the website. So. I think overall the market will be strong, the market will develop in 2012, we will see a lot of interesting developments there, but we will see the black sheep and we will see the white ones and we hope with our approach we will belong to the white ones.